Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Today we're going to knit these super easy baby booties. They're for babies from zero to three months and they're so easy to make, I say that they're ideal for beginners. Now, to make mine, I use light number three baby yarn with four millimeter knitting needles. If you want to make them for newborn, I recommend that you use 3.5 millimeter knitting needles. Now, in my last tutorial, I showed you how to make these here. These are also for babies from zero to three months. On these here, I added a little ribbon around the cuff. You can do the same thing as well to these. Okay, so I hope you like them, so let's get started. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these four millimeter knitting needles, and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn. Now, using the long tail cast on method, I'm going to cast on 38 stitches. So here I made a loop in the very center, and now I'm going to grab the yarn like this, and I'm going to go from left to right, grabbing a loop, so like this. There's two, three. Make sure that these stitches are nice and loose, and not too tight. That's four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. I'm going to continue like this until I have 38 um, stitches on my kneading needle. I'll meet you at the end once I have those stitches to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I have 38 stitches now on this kneading needle. Now what I like to do here at the end is just uh, make a knot like this so that that first stitch doesn't come undone when we start to knit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit every one of these stitches. So beginning here, this first one, I like to knit through the back leg of the stitch, so like this. Now, this row, first row is going to be a bit hard, so that's why um, make sure that when you cast on your stitches, they're nice and loose. Now, the rest I'm going to knit through the front leg of the stitch, like this. Now the next one, same thing, and so on. It's just that first one that I like to do like that. So I'm going to knit every one of these stitches like this. So continue like this, and I will meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I just need to knit these last two stitches. Okay, and this is how we complete this first row. There you have it. Now we're going to turn like this, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do this for a total of four rows, so this is going to be the second row. So insert your needle like this for the first stitch only, and knit through the back leg of the stitch, and then the rest through the front leg of the stitch. Now this row, if you notice, it's a lot easier because all you do is just insert your needle and pick up that stitch like this. Okay, so continue like this, finish this second row, then start on the third, and then turn, and then start on the fourth row. I will meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the third row. I decided to just do three rows instead of four because this is going to be the sole of the baby booty, and I don't want this to be too, too wide. Okay, so here I'm just going to finish kneading these last two stitches. And this is how I finish this third row. Now, for the fourth row, we're going to turn here. And in this fourth row, what we're going to do is we're going to knit one purl one. Knit one purl one. And we're going to do this for a total of about eight rows. So here, we're going to knit the first stitch like we always do through the back leg of the stitch like this. And then we're going to purl the next stitch. So bring the yarn in front and purl knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Notice that the yarn is in the back when you knit and the yarn is in the front when you purl. See, knit, purl. This is how I'm going to continue for this fourth row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do ne next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I still have two stitches, so my next one here is a knit, and the next one is a purl. And this is how I finish the fourth row. Now, I'm going to turn for the fifth row here. So now, for rows five through 11, we're going to knit and purl in the same way. So here, we're going to begin by knitting this first stitch, and I'd like to knit the first stitch through the back leg. 
like this. Now the next one I'm going to purl, so the yarn is in front, so purl. The next one is a knit, so the yarn is in the back. Next one, purl. Next one, knit. Purl, knit, purl. Knit, purl. Knit, purl. Knit, and purl. Okay, so continue like this for this row. Now we're going to do this until we have a total of 11 rows. Now we did three rows of this garter stitch, so now we're going to continue until we have 11 rows. So in total, we're going to do eight rows of this knit one and purl one. So continue like this and I will meet you at the end of the 11th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making eight rows of knit one, purl one, and the three rows that we did in this garter stitch. So it's measuring almost two inches, so a little bit less than two inches. So that's what it's measuring. So now for row 12, oh, and let me count you your rows. This is row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to knit. 13 stitches, so beginning here, this first one here, I like to knit through the back leg of the stitch like this. Then I'm going to knit the second one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches. Okay, let me count them for you. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen stitches. Now the next two we're going to purl together. So bring the yarn in the front, insert your needle, through two of these stitches like this and purl two stitches together. Now here we're going to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Now the next two we're going to make an SKP stitch. That means we're going to skip this stitch here. We're going to knit the next stitch and we're going to pass the stitch we skipped over the stitch that we just knitted. Like this. Okay, that's an SKP stitch. Now in this needle I'm going to have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 13 stitches. So now we're going to turn for the next row. Now for the next row here, with the yarn in front, we're going to slip this first stitch, put your yarn behind, and we're going to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the next two stitches we're going to purl together. So bring the yarn in front and put your needle behind the yarn and insert it through two of these stitches and purl them together. And this is how we finish this row. Now I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven stitches on this needle. We're going to do this until I have nine stitches left. Now we're going to turn for the next row and with the yarn behind we're going to slip this first stitch and we're going to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
Now we're going to repeat the SKP stitch. So we're going to slip this next stitch, knit the next, and pass the stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we just knitted, like this. And now I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve stitches here on this knitting needle. Now we're going to turn for the next row. And with the yarn in front, we're going to slip this first stitch, put your yarn behind, and knit the next eight stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to bring the yarn in front and we're going to purl these two stitches together like this. And now I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven stitches on this knitting needle and turn. Now for this row with the yarn behind, slip the first stitch and knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now here we're going to make our SKP stitch. So slip this next stitch, knit the next, pass the stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we knitted, like this. And now I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven stitches on this needle. We're going to turn now for the next row. Now here with the yarn in front, slip the first stitch, put it behind now, and knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to purl these two together. So bring the yarn in front, and purl these two stitches together. And now I have two, four, six, eight, ten stitches on this needle, so turn. Now for the next row, with the yarn behind, slip this first stitch and knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now slip this stitch, knit the next stitch, pass the stitch over the stitch that we just knitted, and this is how we finish this row, and I have two, four, six, eight, ten stitches on this needle, turn. Now again, for this row, we're going to slip the first stitch with the yarn in front, and with the yarn in the back, we're going to knit eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to purl these two stitches together, so bring your yarn in front and purl the two stitches together. And now I have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches, so turn. Now put your yarn behind this stitch and slip this stitch and knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to slip this next stitch, knit the next stitch. Now bring the stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we just knitted. And now I have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches. So now we're not going to turn for this row because I have nine stitches on this needle and nine stitches on this side with 10 stitches in between. So in total, I have 28 stitches. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish this row by knitting these last nine stitches 
all the way to the end of the row. Okay, and this is how we finish this row with a total of 28 stitches all across. Now we're going to turn, so for the next row here, we're going to knit each one of these stitches. So bring your yarn behind the first stitch, and I like to knit this first stitch through the back leg like this. And now we're going to knit every single one of these stitches all the way to the end of the row. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm almost done with this row here. I just need to finish these last two stitches. So I'm going to knit them as well, just like this. And this is how I finish this row. Now we're going to turn. Okay, so now for rows one through 20, this is what we're going to do. We're going to knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. You can also knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. Um, I'm going to do knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. So beginning here, this first stitch here, I like to knit through the back leg of this stitch. So the next one, I'm going to purl. Next one, knit. Next one, purl knit, purl, knit, purl. And this is all I'm going to do until I come to the end of the row. So I will meet you at the end of this row to show you once again how to begin um, this row of knit one, purl one. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of knit one and purl ones. So here I'm going to finish these last two stitches, so knit and purl. And this is how I finish this first row. Now, for rows two through 20, you're going to do the exact same thing. Now, this first one, I like to knit through the back leg of the stitch. And then the next one, purl, knit, purl, knit, and purl. And this is all you're going to do for this second row, and then the same thing for the third, and so on, until you have a total of 20 rows. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of the 20th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm at the end of the 19th row, so for row 20 this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn now here. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to leave a pretty long tail. It's best to leave a lot than less like this, okay? So here, I'm going to cut my yarn here and leave this much so now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this yarn in this color pink you can do this part here in the same color if you want but I'm just going to add a bit of color to mine so this is um, a light pink color this is like a peachy color okay so now we're going to leave this tail here alone and I'm going to insert my needle like this so for row 20 we're going to change color so grab this yarn here bring it through the front it's okay if a stitch here tries to open and, and become huge, but you just pull on the yarn so that it closes. See, like this, so we knit the first stitch. Okay, so now that we knit the first stitch, now we're going to purl the next stitch. So knit the next stitch, purl the next stitch. Knit, purl, knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, purl. So continue like this for this row. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm at the end of the 20th row. So now for row 21, we're going to turn and here we're going to do the same thing. So now here we're going to knit the first stitch through the back loop like this and then purl the next stitch, knit the next, and purl the next, and so on. We're going to do this for one ro more row. So for row 21, this is all you're going to do. Knit and purl. Continue like this, and I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row, row 21, so now we're going to turn. 
Okay, so now here, what we're going to do is we're going to cast off the stitches, but I'm also going to add a decorative edging. I'm going to add these um, Picos um, stitches right around so that it looks like this. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is um, we're going to knit this first stitch, knit the next stitch. Now we're going to pass this first stitch over the second stitch that we just knitted, just like this. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. Knit the next stitch and pass this first stitch over the second stitch that we just knitted, like this. Okay, so we just cast off two stitches. Now, to make your picot stitch, we're going to turn. Now put your yarn behind like this and make sure that these stitches don't come off your needle. So push them off a little. Now with a crochet hook, um, you can do this with this other needle. I just think that it's easier if you do it with a crochet hook. Insert your crochet hook through this stitch here. Grab a loop, bring it through the front. Pull this loop and bring it over your, your needle like this. So we just made one stitch here. Now go between the two stitches, insert your, your hook again. Grab this loop like this. Pull this loop and again bring it into this needle. Now we have three stitches, see? Now we're going to turn with this needle we're going to bring this middle stitch, see we have three here on this needle, we have three stitches. Make sure that these stitches are nice and loose so that you don't have a hard time doing this part here. So now with this needle you're going to insert, insert it like this and you're going to bring this stitch over the first stitch like this. Now do the same for this last stitch. Bring it over the first stitch. And here's your first picot stitch. So now pull your yarn and now we're going to knit the next stitch. Bring this stitch over the stitch that we just knitted and we're going to knit the next stitch again and bring this stitch over the first stitch that we just knitted. Make sure that when you do this you don't grab yarn so like this so bring it over and that's how we work the little peacock stitch. Now let me show you again. We're going to turn, leave these stitches there, bring your yarn behind like this. Now with your crochet hook, insert it right here, right through this stitch. Grab a loop, bring it through, pull this loop and put it on your needle. Make sure they're not, they're loose. Now again, insert your hook between the two stitches here. Grab a loop, pull a loop and put it on your needle like this. Now we have three stitches, one, two, three. Now turn and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to bring the second stitch over the first stitch. This part is the hardest but it gets easier as you make these stitches and then the second stitch over the first stitch again. And here's your second picot stitch. Now pull your yarn a little bit like this. And now you see the little picot stitch back there. And now we're going to cast off two stitches. So knit the next stitch, bring this yarn over this stitch that we just knitted. Knit the next stitch and cast off one more stitch. And here's your little picot stitch. Now this is all we're going to do, so continue like this. Let me show you one more time. I just want to make sure you get this. So turn. I only have one stitch here. Bring your yarn to the back. Grab your hook. Insert your hook through this stitch like this. Grab a loop. Bring it over the needle. Now insert your hook between the two stitches. 
grab a loop, pull this loop and bring it into the needle. Now we have three stitches, so now we're going to turn. Now we're going to pass the second stitch over the first stitch. And pass this other stitch over the first stitch. Like this. Now pull your yarn. And there's your third little pico stitch. I think I grabbed yarn here. Okay, pull your yarn. And now you're going to cast off two stitches. And here's your little pico stitch. Now this is all we're going to do, so continue like this, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I just finished making my last pico stitch here, so um, and I only have one stitch left here. So we're going to knit this last stitch, and now we're going to pass this stitch over this last stitch. So. Hold them and bring them through like this. And this part here is done. Now we're going to cut the yarn. We're going, we're going to leave a tail not too long. I'd say about that much. And now we're going to pass this yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. Now we still have this tail left. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Now we're going to close this part here. And when we're done, we're going to fold our booty like this. And this is what it's going to look like. See, here's the little pico edging. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to close this part here and um, then show you our finished booty. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to close this part here, but first we're going to tie a little knot here. This is where we joined the new color, so just make a little knot there, like this. Now, we're going to join these two pieces together like this, but first we're going to turn it over, so like this. This is the inside of the baby booty, so join both pieces like this. Now, with this pink color that we left, we're going to do the following. Just pass it through this needle. And now here we're going to close the top part of our baby booty. So, so the yarn is on the right and we're going to go into this left side right there, right on top of this stitch right there, see? Now pull this yarn and then go back into this stitch right here at the end and insert your needle through there like this. Now the yarn is on the right side so we're going to go back through this stitch like this and now this part here is um, joined and that's what it looks like. So now we're going to turn this like this and we're going to do these two rows here. For these two rows, if you notice, along the very edge we have V stitches. See, and on the side right here we have these little bars. That's where we're going to insert our hook. Now, same thing for this side. See, we have the V stitches here, and so we're going to insert our hook right there along the very edge into these stitches. Okay, so for these two rows that we have here in this color pink, insert your hook right there. My yarn is on the right, so go to the left and pull your yarn. Now go into the next stitch here on this side. Let's see, that part is joined. Now we're going to do one more. So go into the next stitch, right there. 
and then this part here is closed. Now, go, th go into this stitch where you came out and pull your yarn through the other side. Now we're going to weave this um, yarn here and hide it and now we're going to grab this tail that we left in this color, the main color. Pass it through your needle. And I think I cut too much, so I'm going to cut some of this yarn. And my yarn is on the right side. So now you're going to go into the next stitch here and insert your needle right there. And go into this side. There's the V stitch, so on the on this side right there there's the little bar and then go into this side here and look for that little bar right there right there And then now on this side and continue like this until you come to about here right here so I will meet you here to show you how we're going to close um, this part here okay I'm here at this end in this row that we see here the little bumpy row here go into this stitch along the side and insert your hook and then on this side same thing insert your hook into that bumpy stitch right there and this part here is done now from here on we're going to do the exact same thing we did here but we're going to do this from the right side like this because we want the seam to be on the inside so now here now that we turned it my yarn is on the left so find the first stitch here so this one here see right there so insert your needle and then find the next stitch here on this side and do the same thing now from here on you're just going to do the exact same thing we did here so continue like this and I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to work these three rows of garter stitch okay so now this part here is done I finished making this last stitch here my yarn is on the left so now we have the three rows of garter stitch one two three so the first row here on the right side insert your needle through this very edge stitch like the little bump right there through that little bump you're going to insert your needle now find the little bump on this first row right there and then the second row right there and then the second row here right there and then through the first row this is the the stitches that we cast on right there so go through there now go through the top again on this side right there and then go through it again one more time okay now this part here is done and this is what it looks like now you can pull your yarn here so that this part here closes a bit more I don't Pull it too much because otherwise there's going to be a big bump here since we have this seam here but just leave it like this and now this part here is done and when you fold your cuff that's what it looks like so now we're going to close the bottom so to do that we're going to turn this to the other side and now here the yarn is on the left so I'm going to go to the right side here and insert your needle right there now come again into this side find the next stitch these stitches are along the very edge right there see if you pull you see them right there that's where I'm going to be inserting my needle Now 
Now, this is how I normally close my baby booties. Now, if you prefer to do it any other way, it's up to you. Okay, so continue like this. Just go in and out. Now we're going to do this until I come to about this much here because we're going to um, do something differently here. Okay, so now, this is about a half an inch, so we're going to form like a T-shape here at the end, like this. So now, insert your needle through this stitch that you did your last stitch, and then insert it through the very middle here. Now go in again, and close. Now go into this side here, and do the same thing. right there. Now we're going to turn, go through the very middle again, and again, and then one more stitch here. Okay. Now we're going to weave this end and this part here is done. So let me turn it over so that you can see what it looks like. And there it is. See. And our baby booty is done. Now fold your cuff, hide your ends, and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go back and do my other one, so I'll come back and show you what they look like once it's done. Okay, I finished making the second baby booty, and here I added a darker pink so that you can see what the um, edging here around looks like. I think it's very pretty and it was very easy to make. And here's the first one. From the bottom, that's what it looks like. And there it is. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Until next time.